like the Bible for us people that love rock and roll. It's hard to know every nook and cranny of it. So you're constantly discovering things that you didn't know about or were, weren't aware of before. I'm Fran Capitanelli, totally into the sound. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I saw Michael Schenker play a few years ago, 2019. He was doing the Michael Schenker Fest. And uh, me and a friend went to the show and he just was so unbelievable. And I really didn't know a lot of his music at the time. Of course, I know who he is and how amazing he is, but it wasn't until that night that I really got the depth of, of how great he is and what a virtuoso. So there's two versions of this song, Time On My Hands. One is on the album that it was released on, UFO Phenomenon, and one is on the BBC sessions. And they're both great versions. They're basically identical. The studio version has this like echo on the drums and it has this like cascading drum part that kind of moves it along. And then the BBC version is just a little more simplified because back in those days, bands couldn't get airplay on the BBC. And the way they worked around that was they would have the bands in for an interview and they would basically re-record their own songs to be played on the BBC. Sometimes it would be at the BBC studios or it would be in front of a, a audience or at one of their live shows. That's why we have all these great versions of all these bands playing the BBCs because they couldn't get airplay. So this solo is like so amazing. It's so ahead of its time and you can hear like shades of Randy Rhodes in it and shades of Slash and within the band UFO you hear like where Iron Maiden kind of got that galloping sound and, and some of the harmonies like in the song uh, Lipstick Traces that's on the same album that, that this is on. It sounds kind of like uh, the Roy Buchanan song, Sweet Dreams, and at the end of it, it breaks off into these harmonies, single note guitar harmonies, that sound like Iron Maiden. Plus their look is kind of like what Def Leppard would end up looking like uh, just a few years later for the Pyromania era. But Michael Schenker, he joined UFO when he was 18. struggling to keep a guitar player and I guess they were playing a show with the Scorpions and they asked if, if they could borrow him for the, the show and he ended up being a permanent member, permanent for the next handful of years for the like classic lineup of UFO. And he was 18 and didn't speak any English when he joined the band. So when this song came out, he was like right around 20, maybe just over 20. And he's already like a god as far as the phrasing and the, the note choices and the kind of, it's like a little classical piece within this song. This version of the solo that we're about to hear is from the BBC. First of all, that tone. It's just perfect. But he like snaps every note. That's like Black Sabbath right there.
He's not like blazing. He's just like telling a little story. This could almost be an Aussie song. Randy era. And total slash. Sweet child of mine. So I guess he, he left the band around 78. Shanker ends up leaving and starts his solo career. So like he he never really like became that uh, upper echelon guitar god like Slash and Randy Rhodes and Eddie and Jimmy Page. But he influenced so many people along the way that, you know, it's kind of, you got to give him his due because he definitely was an amazing guitar player at the age of 18, 19. Capitanelli, totally into the sound. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. That's all for today. We'll see you next time.